Yo, I'm at the zoo. I'm streaming all day. Been streaming since the gym. Nick is right here with the camera. I'm at the zoo. As you can see, people on this bus are not too happy that I'm not here. Not happy. No, they aren't. Nope. You're not happy? No, no. <laughs> The Sims 3 has finished downloading. I was playing The Sims 4 and it made my Sim start flirting with the mailman. I didn't want my Sim to be gay. It had a mind of its own. So I'm playing The Sims 3. Today we're talking about the multi-million conglomerate combination of the people in the world. We're talking about millions in the arena. We're talking about Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson which was an absolute disaster. Now, I was extremely hyped for this because I have no life, and I've been sick for the last couple of days, just in my bed, suffering. So I'm like, hey, I have something to look forward to. You know, like we had Thursday night football the day before. Now, shit, we got Friday night uh, funkin'. We got Friday night, uh... So I'm watching this fight on Netflix, and at first, I was like, hey, this is awesome, the quality's good. And we got into the first fight, and it was between... This one 6'9 looking motherfucker against this uh, other guy. And the other guy started humping the 6'9 motherfucker just mid-fight. Just behind him, giving him back shots, mid-boxing fight. And I'm sitting there like, wow, dude. This is boxing. Now, after this, I did not watch any more of the fights. I tuned in a little bit here and there. And I noticed that the quality was absolutely abhorrent. It was awful. It was complete ass. I ended up catching the end of this other fight. I think it was like Amanda Taylor against Katie. Something, guys, I'm not big into the boxing realm, okay? I just wanted to let you guys know that. No disrespect either, okay? These are warriors in the arena. I have lots of respect for them. I just don't really follow boxing, and uh, this video, I'm just kind of making it on the fly. Just give my immediate reactions 12 hours later to uh, Fortnite. I mean, to Mike Tyson and Jake Paul. But yeah, in the second fight I watched with the, the, the woman fight, that one girl got robbed, dude, okay? Like, I know that she had the big-ass cut on her head, but it looked clear as day that she won that fight. And the, it went to the judge's decision, and it was just a bogus-ass decision. I would like to apologize to both Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano. There was no disrespect intended. I'm just a dumb fuck. Uh, so yeah, that was the fight. Katie Taylor should have lost. Amanda Serrano got robbed. And then we had the main event, the one that everyone was staying up all night for. We had Jake Paul against Mike Tyson. And this fight sucked ass, okay? The best round was round one. Everything after that was shit, okay? Round one got off. It was... Honestly, could we just all admit this is a fucking sad-ass fucking event, dude? Like, I get it that it was all rigged, probably, and that... There was an agreement in place where Jake Paul had to come out on top or whatever the fuck. You had Mike Tyson and Jake Paul making it to the very end, both on two feet. They had this real nice bonding moment. And then now, in every other fucking Jake Paul project he does, the intro will be a montage of all of his craziest moments. And the Mike Tyson hug is gonna be there. It's gonna be so hot. Also, round one was the best because round one was before the shit started fucking buffering. Okay, every fucking other minute, dude. The quality was so shit. I ended up watching this on one of those third-party websites that are, like, totally legal. And somehow they had a better connection than Netflix. It makes no sense at all. I ended up watching this shit on fucking TikTok, dude. That's how I ended up watching the fight. Can we talk about real quick how Thanksgiving gets no love whatsoever? Like, dude, it seems to me that every single time we go through the holiday season, it's hype and hype and hype for halloween fuck thanksgiving and then christmas right we all go right to christmas dude it's not even thanksgiving and we're doing christmas shit i thought it was universally all agreed upon that after thanksgiving that's when the christmas commercials start that's when the christmas content starts bring the boom bring the boom bring it all the way Time to 
like the tree. Dude, I really feel bad for Big Justice because it's like, you know damn well this kid just wants to sit at home and play Black Ops 6, right? Like, you know that's just all he wants to do. And his dad's like, oh, you can play Black Ops 6 for 10 minutes and we have to go out with Santa Claus and bring the boom. Bring the boom. Jesus Christ, we're talking about Mike Tyson. Now we're bringing the boom. I have, uh, I've got to get my shit together, guys. Real quick video today. I'm probably going to be back with another video. I'm sick as shit right now. Have an amazing night. Bye. They really love me. It's my turn. You got a problem. I let that iron bust. I don't fuck with fake love. You can keep that lust. I don't got a drug problem, but I feel a rush. I am finally up. Don't hit my line.